you're tuning in, it's the one and only off the bottom is coming with another video review. And on today's episode, thanks to the folks at Factory Entertainment, we're going to be taking a look at two very special pieces, exclusively available online as part of their 2020 San Diego Consolation Con. We're going to be taking a look at two of their fastest selling prop replicas ever produced. We have the USS Enterprise NCC-1701A, as well as the USS Excelsior NCC-2000 exclusive teacups. I am a ridiculously big Star Trek fan. Truthfully, it is probably one of my favorite sci-fi franchises ever created. And these teacups are replicas of what we saw in the last live-action movie from the original series cast. That being Star Trek VI, The Undiscovered Country. We'll get into more of the overall look later on, but for the packaging, they're almost identical. You got that very iconic Starfleet insignia right there in the front. Really love how that looks. It's nicely done on a blue background. Yeah, the top section here is very clean. Again, it just keeps that blue sort of theme going throughout it. You can see both of these are uh, convention exclusives, limited editions. Again, we'll get to more of that here later on. Come around on the back. You've got that gorgeous Federation logo, StarTrek.com. And as you can see, this one is from the Enterprise. Also mentioned that this is a collectible intended for persons aged 18 and older. Also comes with some very important instructions to hand wash this only and do not microwave. So not really microwave safe. So while this is a tea set, don't use microwavable tea. The package for the Excelsior version is the same. We got the convention logo right there, limited edition as well. But the back here says, obviously, Excelsior NCC 2000, which honestly is my favorite design for any Star Trek ship that I've ever seen. I don't know what it is about it. I just love the look even more than the classic Enterprise. Uh, the inside, I should kind of highlight this as well because these are ceramic teacups. The inside here, and I might as well just pull it out, has this, an absolutely massive amount of foam, which really does nicely protect the piece itself. You got a, a top layer there that can be removed. You have the cup right here, and then you have the saucer section, again, protected by some nice foam. We'll get into all that here in a bit, but uh, very thick, very sturdy, which is absolutely terrific because unfortunately my box, you can see got a little bit dinged in the uh, shipping, but with this foam that they've used, I have zero concerns about these being shipped. It's really high quality material. But for the packaging on these, like I said, that's about it. So yeah, I'm gonna do a review on a teacup set. So let's get them out here and see how cool they actually are. And here they are opened up and out of their packaging. And these are terrific. Yeah, they're teacup sets. But as a Star Trek fan and a prop collector, these are great ones to have. Now in Star Trek VI, we're introduced to Captain Sulu aboard his ship, the USS Excelsior which is the recommissioned version of the Excelsior that we were first introduced to in Star Trek III. While on their way home, the Excelsior monitored an explosion of the Klingon planet Praxis, which was demonstrated by Sulu putting this exact teacup set down on a table that subsequently started doing this, fell off the table, and shattered as the energy wave from that explosion hit their ship. And I'll be honest, I almost want to get two of these so that I can have a movie accurate version with shattered pieces in my display. Later on in the film, the crew of the Enterprise holds a state dinner for the Klingons. While at that dinner on the table, you see several of these. So it demonstrates that this tea set is something that is used throughout Starfleet at the time. What's great about what Factory Entertainment has done was they were able to get the actual props from the film to be able to recreate these in amazing detail. Starting off first, you do get some certificates of authenticity. Now, because these are review samples, the ones that they sent to me that I have to send back are actually artist proofs. You can see it says art proof, artist proof AP06, that's for both of them. You can see USS Excelsior goes with the Excelsior. US Enterprise goes with the Enterprise, 
when you get yours, yours will have your actual edition number. Now, when these were released at San Diego Comic-Con, well, they're Consolation Con. As I said at the beginning, these turned out to be their fastest selling pieces that they've ever produced. The Enterprise was what they initially were going to release for the convention. Strictly limited to only 500 pieces, again, that's what you would see on your certificate of authenticity, it sold out at record speed for them. So what they in turn did, seeing the huge demand for these cups, was they accelerated something that they had planned for 2021, which was the Excelsior version. Uh, my opinion is that they saw the tremendous success of this and they're like, we need to get more of these out. Because at only 500, they flew off the shelf like that. They then decided to release this with a limit of only 250. So you can imagine half the amount of this means that that sold out even faster than the Enterprise version. Honestly, I, I don't know any insider stuff, but I gotta believe that the tremendous success of these might indicate we may get more in the future. I feel like that would be an absolute waste of an opportunity for a company, maybe a box set or something like that, or maybe even doing a signature edition. I mean, we still have George Takei with us. We also still have William Shatner. So I, I don't know. That would be kind of cool. Then I could see something like that easily selling just as quickly. I mean, that's all conjecture and speculation on my part, but being around the business for as long as I, I I can't believe that they wouldn't come back to these in some capacity. Really, that's neither here nor there, but you do get the certificates, which I think is great. And then taking a look at the regular edition, the Enterprise one first. First, let's take a look at the saucer. Again, made out of very nice, high-grade ceramic. This is probably going to be hard to see because it's very white, and I got a lot of white here, but you can see a gorgeous, this is one part that I absolutely love coming in. I love the detail that they got in the blue around here. Hopefully that comes across. That is absolutely gorgeous. Very much looks like space with the different colors and such. I love how that looks. All the way around, recreated absolutely beautifully. You can see you got a very nice gold trim around it, giving it a very metallic look. You got some little red dots throughout the entire thing. Just gorgeous really really is the bottom section here see the star trek logo factory entertainment obviously and again ceramic so absolutely great detail nice heft to it again not microwavable so do be careful when you're doing that and then when you take a look at the cup now there are differences between these the saucers are <laughs> star trek get it you know because there's saucer sections on the the ships uh, the saucers are identical which is perfectly fine in my opinion the cups however though are different, which I like. They do still have that nice blue going around the rim. You can also see the nice gold section around the top, and then you got the two bars right down in the middle area. You got the little red bits throughout. You also have a really nice gold kind of accent going down the handle itself, as well as around the, the base of it. But what you see that is different, obviously USS Enterprise, USS Excelsior, you got the, the registry number right there, but they also have a different look for the logo, which again is accurate. And I love how they recreated it. The Enterprise has that nice gold foil in the uh, background of the Delta, whereas the Excelsior is a clean look. And again, you can see that on the screen. So wonderful attention to detail in recreating that and capturing that difference. In Nice ceramic detail. The bottom section here also has those logos. I like how they also even got the Starfleet logo right on the bottom. That's a really nice touch as well. Overall, beautiful, beautiful pieces. Um, functional as teacups, obviously, but also really very nice props just in general. These are absolutely going to look amazing with my Star Trek pieces. As I said, I kind of want to get two of these so I could have a regular one and a shattered one. Unfortunately, though, as I mentioned, these sold out lightning, or should I say warp speed, fast. Luckily enough, though, I was able to get mine, and they're on their way to me. So I can't wait to add mine to my collection and have my own little Starfleet tea party. But as I said, these are sold out. What I would recommend, though, is to go to factoryent.com and then sign up for their newsletter so that you can get instant updates whenever anything like this comes around. 
They still had the Star Trek license, so I'm curious to see what they're going to do going in the future. And they got a lot of other really great collectibles that range from all sorts of different franchises. So check them out, and like I said, sign up for their newsletter. If something like reissues of these in terms of a box set or whatever do eventually get announced, that's the place that it's going to hit first. So don't miss out on those details. That way, if anything does come out, you'll be able to pre-order them right away. Again, I want to send a huge shout out to the folks over at Factory Entertainment for making this review possible. Don't worry, guys. I'm not going to break the Excelsior one and send it back to you. But beyond all of that, that's about it. Once again, I want to thank all of you for watching. If you enjoyed the video and want to see more, first make sure that you hit that thumbs up button and click that little bell so that you can get instant email notifications whenever I upload a new review. But most importantly, remember that the real trouble with the world is that too many people grow up. Thank you for watching and live long and prosper.